Derek the Derivative found a particularly nasty limit as he was solving problems in the M-theory lab. We have x to the power of x to the x minus 1. And we should be able to rewrite this something like x, uh, and then we'll have x to the power of x. And we put like x uh, to the power of negative 1 here. So essentially, we're just multiplying these two things together, and then it sort of turns into this. So if we have x to the power of negative 1, then that really means that we have x to the power of x to the x divided by x. So that simplifies things a bit. Now from here, what we'd like to be able to do is take the ln of the top side. So let's go and try to do that. The ln of this whole x, the x to the x. Well, we know that if we take the ln, we have to cancel it out by adding an e here. So let's do that. And then we'll put that over x. From here, we'll just take this stuff and put it in front. So we have something like x to the x. And then we have ln of x. And uh, this is still to the power of e over here divided by x. Now, usually when we have something like uh, this times that, we can rewrite it by saying something like ln of x divided by 1 over x to the power of x. And then we have all this to the power of uh, e over here, all over x. Well, things are getting a little bit crazy, but let's go ahead and take the ln inside of here. So I'll have to sort of rewrite some stuff divided by... Um, I'll go ahead and put the x in front already, because we have the ln of x down there. This is all going to be to the power of e. And let's not forget putting that to the power of e as well. And then divided by x. Let's take one more step here and move the x underneath here by doing something like this. We'll have the ln of x divided by 1 over x. This is all of the e. So all on the denominator here, this whole thing is to the power of e, all this to the x. Now let's try to send x to the 0, um, from the positive side at least. So when we do that, it, and we go to the ln of 0, we're going to get something like negative uh, infinity on top. And then on the bottom, we'll get some uh, some infinity as well. So since we have infinity over infinity, we can take the L'Hopital method inside of here, the derivative of the top, the derivative of the bottom. So we're going to say something like, well, the derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. And then the derivative of the bottom is negative 1 over x squared. I know it looks a little bit crazy, but this is what's inside this parentheses in here right here. Now, when we rewrite this, we can actually just put, um, we can multiply the top by the reciprocal of the bottom. So we just get 1 over x times x squared over negative 1, uh, which is just going to be equal to negative x. So like all this just simplifies to negative x. Um, so that's kind of cool. And that's essentially what we have in this uh, parentheses here. So this is actually finally getting a little simpler. Let's try to put this in there. We have something like 1 divided by e to the negative x here. Then that's going to be ln of x on top. This whole thing is to the power of e. And on the bottom, we have this x. And on the bottom, we have this. And if we send 0 into this, then we get something like 1 on the bottom. Um, 1 over 1 is just 1. Uh, that's pretty cool, because then we get something like e to the ln of x um, divided by x. And uh, if that is just going to be going to cancel, then we get something like x over x. Keeping in mind, these are 0 over 0, because we've sent everything to 0 already. So now we could take the L'Hopital method, and we can essentially just say the derivative of x over the derivative of x, which is just going to be equal to 1. And so it turns out that we um, get our answer at this point here.